Today we're going to be talking about the soil stability and how we can test for this in the field. Soil stability is really important because it gives us an indication of the soil's resilience, its ability to resist erosion uh, and impact from machinery, the amount of organic matter that we've got in the soil and the potential management strategies that are required for management of this soil. So the first thing that we do, we've already soil sampled um, our paddock as shown in the first uh, video of this series. Taking some surface soil, first we're going to test for how the soil um, performs in water. So we take a nice little uh, piece of soil like this and what I've done is trying to just take away the edges so they're nice fresh edges to the soil clod and I just place it into some deionized water. Now this is important that you use deionized water so you can purchase that from your um, from your local supermarket or from um, a hardware store or something like that. It's in the same sort of water you use for your batteries but it has had all of the salts taken out of it so it doesn't impact on the reaction here. So I've placed the soil into the water and we're just watching to see how it behaves. What happens when a soil slakes is that the water fills in where the air was within the soil particle and can push it apart if there's not enough organic matter present. So here on this soil we have plenty of um, organic matter sitting on the soil surface and we're seeing that when we've placed that surface soil in the water that it's actually holding together well. So it's an indicator that there's good organic matter in the topsoil. However, if we tried down a little bit further in the soil profile, we may find that it reacts a little bit differently. So let's try that. I'm just taking away the dry sides of the soil and just popping that into water. We see little bubbles of air coming to the surface as the water displaces the air. But thankfully for this soil, it looks like there's still quite a lot of organic matter and roots down into that area and it's holding together well in the soil. So from this point of view, the soil structural stability is quite good. But there's one other thing that we need to check in terms of soil stability and that's whether the soil is sodic or not. Now a sodic soil is one that has a lot of sodium ions in the soil and they're replacing the calcium that's bound to the clay particles normally. And when water's added to this situation, it just falls apart in solution and can cause really bad effects in your paddock, such as um, surface sealing, where you get um, bare soil surface, poor seed germination, um, sick plants and those sorts of things. And you often get quite severe erosion on the soil surface. So to test for this, we do a similar thing. Um, we place the soil into the deionized water and we watch to see how it reacts. Now, if you get a cloudy reaction in the water, that's an indication that you've got a sodic soil. So, here's one that I have prepared earlier. And here we see that um, the surface soil that was placed in here has reacted quite normally and there isn't any indication of sodicity. But when I've mimicked um, some, some stock going across the, the paddock or some machinery which is causing some, um, some fracture of the soil and some disturbance, then we're getting this dreadful cloudiness in the water which you can see in this petri dish and that's indicating that it's very unstable when it is worked or when there is an impact from stock or uh, machinery. So the main important things to take away from today's video, first that we take some soil from the surface soil, we place it into deionized water. And remember to clear that fresh face so that you've got a piece of soil that hasn't touched the air. Place it into the water and leave it. Don't touch it for 10 minutes and watch how it reacts in the water. A soil that falls apart and creates a very cloudy um, solution in the water is indicative of a soil that is very unstable and you need to be trying to incorporate a lot of organic matter into your system, improve the soil microbes so that um, that is also providing a binding effect to your soil, providing some soil resilience and helping to hold it together as it's impacted by water, rain and also by machinery and stock. 